the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut out just a square. And my square measures 8 inches by 12 and a half inches. And then you're going to take your square and you're going to cut off a slice up here. And you're going to cut off a slice, a triangle down here. And you're going to cut off a triangle down here. So my triangle is two inches by two and a half. About every time. If you want exact measurements. And then you're going to need to draw a circle. See this circle right here? So start on the right side. And you're just going to draw like an eggplant shape. Like this. And then I usually round this off a little bit too. So it goes in five and a half inches deep and then it just rounds it off. And that's going to be what we do this way. Sometimes you need to clean it up a little bit, make it a little bigger. Just to make sure the next line works. Alright, so then you're going to cut out your shape out of some fabric and you're going to need a washcloth. So what I do is I place the washcloth face down on my fox and then I'm going to use another bit of washcloth for this part. Here is another one where I double layered the washcloth so it's for like a baby that really drools. What I have is a washcloth, a towel, and then the bib face down because you're going to turn everything right sides out. So now we are ready to go to the sewing part. Alright, so I'm going to put my sewing machine on a straight stitch. And I'm going to put the width around an eighth. And the tension just going to stay the same. So for my one with just the one washcloth, all I'm going to do is sew all the way around the bib. Now around the curved part, you want to leave about half an inch at least from the edge because we're going to be snipping in to this in order to make it curve better. Now this bib is good for about the age of um, zero to one. If you want to make it for an older child, I would lengthen this part and lengthen this part. So I'm going to leave this part unsewed right here so I can flip it inside out. So what I'm going to do is start here and sew all the way around to here and leave this part not sewed. So here I've sewn all the way around the edge except for this one little part here so that I can turn it right sides out. But before I do that, I do want to snip. So what I'm going to do is trim off all this extra washcloth fabric. So now I just have the bib here. And then I remove all the pins and we're going to snip the curve. So just snip in and make little, this will help the curve lay correctly. After you've 
you've snipped all the curves, you want to turn this very right sides out. So pull it through that hole you left. And the hardest part to pull out is the strap. So I just work it from the inside. So now that your bib is right sides out, you want to fold this down and pin it. And the last thing we're going to do, let me make sure this is all the way out first too, is we're going to top stitch all the way around here before we add our button on. Now all you have to do is attach a strap, I mean a, a, a snap to it or um, some other kind of device. You got to be really careful when you sew on the button or strap or whatever because it can be a choking hazard of course to your kid. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Now I'm going to sew on, I'm going to put one right here and then one on the back here so it, st it sticks. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch to put this on. So I'm just going to position the needle and zigzag stitch in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Alright guys, and there's your finished bib for uh, zero to one year. It would probably fit my 16 month old. It just would be a little short here. So yeah, as I said before, if you want to make this for a one to two year old, make the strap longer so that will make your box wider and then make your box longer this way.